Hello YouTube, today I'm here with a new tutorial and in this video I'm going to show how to install Mac OS Sierra on Asus A555L laptop. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for latest updates. So guys, let's start. Remember that installing Mac OS on laptop is not an easy thing to do as it requires a lot of research, hard work, patience and you may have to work for some sleepless nights because every laptop poses a different hardware configuration and each of them have different BIOS versions, options and they come from different manufacturers. So before installing macOS on your laptop, you need to be sure about your hardware compatibility. I mean your CPU, graphics card, Wi-Fi and other hardware are compatible. I am saying this because every hardware is not compatible on macOS. If it is not compatible, you will face problems like internet and sound not working, improper sleep wave function and many other things. So before installing, be sure about your hardware compatibility. This method is useful for those users who don't have access to a Macintosh or a Hackintosh computer because I will use Windows to create bootable USB for Mac OS Sierra. So let's start. To create a bootable USB for Mac OS Sierra, you will need to download Power ISO, R Drive Image App, 12.2 USB Image, Ethros AR9565 Wi-Fi Fix, Audio Fix and some configured.p list from Pakato D config. So guys don't worry all download links are provided under video in the description. So after downloading the required files open 10.12.2 USB image and copy this 10.12.2 USB.RDR image to desktop. Now it will copy the image to the desktop. Can switch to and close power ratio. Now after extracting the 10.12.2 USB.RDR image, you need to install R Drive image app. Click on yes. Click on OK. Click on next. Click on next. Click on install. Now click on finish. Now insert your USB flash drive. The minimum recommended size is more than 8 gigabytes, but you can use 8 gigabytes USB flash drive. So insert your USB. Open computer and right click to select your USB drive and click on format. Now select restore device defaults and click on start. Click on OK to begin format the disk. Click on OK. Click on close. Now click on the start button and type CMD. Right click and select run as administrator. Click on yes. Now type here disk part. Now type list this. Now select the disk 4 that is your USB flash drive. Be sure to select your USB flash drive only. Otherwise your other partition may be deleted and formatted. So be careful while using this command. Now type select 
that's four. Now type clone and press enter. Now close CMD command prompt. Click on cancel. Now open R drive image app. Click on yes. Click on next. Select restore from an image. Select 10.12.2 USB dot RDR and click on next. Click on next. Now this step is very important step, so be careful. Firstly, select U101 MB Pad32 Clover and select your USB drive and click on next. Now select here. Pad32 file system that is being selected by default and drive later for the selected partition set it to Z and click on next select here add another object and click on next now select 6.31 HFS plus install 10.12.2 be sure to select only this partition otherwise your USB drive will not work anymore and click and select 7.45 GB and allocate it and click on next now select here drive letter 2 do not connect and click on next and now it will prepare your macOS Sierra bootable USB on Windows So it will take 15 to 30 minutes so wait for that now click on ok and as you can see the op the process has been finished and the bootable USB drive has been prepared so close R drive image now don't eject the USB some work is left so open computer and after preparing the macOS here bootable USB you will see clover partition on your computer so open this partition Open Packard config. Now go to Notebooks. Then HD double five double zero. That is for Intel HD five thousand five hundred GPU. And now select your USB and go to EFI folder. Then Clover folder. Then delete this configured dot this file. Copy this configure.plist file to your USB. Now close WinRAR and your USB. Now copy this two files audio fix and Wi Fi fix to your Clover partition. Now all the process have been done and bootable USB drive has been prepared successfully and the post installation tools has been copied so you are ready to install macOS Sierra on your laptop. So guys this is my Asus A55L laptop on which I am going to install macOS Sierra. So power on your laptop and press F2 button for several times to enter BIOS menu and now go to save and exit tab and restore default and select restore defaults select load optimize defaults to yes and then go to save changes then select yes then go to save changes and exit and select yes now press F2 button one more time to enter BIOS menu and this time you need to configure the BIOS settings so go to advanced tab Select internal pointing device to be enabled, wake on lead open to enable and power off energy saving to enable 
and Intel virtualization technology to enable select Intel AES and I to enable and select VTD option to disable under SATA configuration set SATA mode selection to AHCI under graphics configuration select DVM3 pre-allocated to 64 MB if you don't select this option macOS will not boot and it will give a kernel panic so be sure to select 64 megabytes now go to smart settings and select smart self test to enable now go to network stack configuration and select network stack to disable now go to usb configuration and select legacy usb support to enable xhci pre boot boot mode to enable usb mass storage driver support to enable select launch csm to enable select launch ps pxe op rom policy to disable under boot option priorities you have to do nothing and that's it in boot option now go to security tab and select input output interface security and make sure that all the options here are unlocked now go to secure boot menu and set secure boot menu to disable now go to save and exit tab and select save changes and then select save changes and exit now your laptop will restart now press escape key on your keyboard and it will open the boot menu now here is my macOS Sierra bootable USB so insert your bootable USB and restart your laptop now again press escape key now select UEFI HP now select your USB flash drive and be sure to select the UEFI prefix otherwise the USB will not work so select UEFI and press enter now as you can see here is the clover boot menu press enter to boot macOS from install 10.12.2 Now as you can see macOS Sierra installer is booting Now as you can see here is the macOS Sierra installer screen, select your language. Now click on continue, click on continue, click on agree. Now go to utilities and select disk utility. Under disk utility select your laptop internal drive. This laptop has been shipped uh, with 1 terabyte of storage capacity but there was fault with some drive so we had to replace this drive with 500 gigabytes. So click on erase button under name you can type any name but for instance I am typing Macintosh HD. Under format select Mac OS X extended journal aid under scheme select GUID partition map and click on erase button now click on done and close disk utility now select your drive that is macintosh hd and click on continue to install macro Sierra. Now as you can see the installation has been started and about 16 minutes is remaining so wait for that. Now as you can see installation is about to complete and about a minute is remaining. Now as you can see installation is about to complete and less than a minute is remaining. Now installation has been completed and it will automatically restart your laptop otherwise you can click on restart. Now press escape key 
and select your USB with UEFI prefix and press enter. Now select boot Mac OS from Macintosh HD that is second drive and press enter to boot. As it is first boot so it will take some more time as you can see attempting to rebuild the catch is being rebuilt Now as you can see here is the Mac OS Hero welcome configuration screen so select your country and click on continue select your keyboard layout and click on continue select my computer does not connect to the internet and click on continue click on continue transfer information to this Mac select don't transfer any information now and click on continue click on continue select don't use now here is the terms and condition click on agree click on agree now it's time to create a computer account type your name type your password verify verify your password now type your password in now if you want to change your computer logo you can change it from here click on edit go to defaults and select your picture I'll be using this rose click on save and click on continue now select your time zone click on continue now click on continue and as you can see this is setting up your Mac now here is the keyboard setup assistance click on continue select left shift and Z and now press slash and question mark button on your keyboard and click on done now as you can see Mac OS Hero has been installed on your Asus A55L laptop successfully but you need to configure your Mac OS and you need to perform post installation to enable audio Wi-Fi and various other hardware so click on finder go to preferences then select hard disk and select connected servers and close finder preferences now go to clover disk and select post install folder audio fix ar9565 fix and efi to your desktop now open post install folder and open EFI mounter and select your hard drive and select mount EFI close EFI mounter and now open EFI right click to select EFI folder and select move to trash now copy this EFI folder from your desktop to EFI partition of your hard drive and close EFI partition 
now you need to fix your audio and Wi-Fi so extract audio fix and extract Ethros AR9565 Wi-Fi fix now open audio fix and open text utility enter your password press enter now drag this voodoo hda kex to kex utility to install enter your password and press enter now click on quit now you need to fix your Wi-Fi. Open AR9565. Fix. Open 9565. Open Kext Utility. Enter your password. Now go to 9565 folder and select all the 6 text and place it to text utility enter your password and press enter click on quit close 9565 folder now go to system preferences go to sounds and select play feedback when volume is changed and select show volume in menu bar close sound now we have installed the clover bootloader Wi-Fi and audio and now you need to restart your laptop to enable that now restart your laptop click on restart and now eject your USB flash drive and press escape key and select your hard drive followed by UFI prefix and press enter now select boot macOS from Macintosh HD and press enter to boot Now enter your password Now as you can see the Wi-Fi is working So let's check the Wi-Fi connection the Wi-Fi has been connected Open Safari Now open Google and as you can see the internet is working means the Wi-Fi is working now close Safari and the audio will not work yet because you need to fix it actually I forget and I'm sorry for this was in hurry but don't worry the link is given in the description you can download the fix from there Now open all in one audio fixer for Hackintosh and install this package. Click on install, enter your password. Click on OK. Click on close. And now you need to restart your laptop. Now restart your laptop. Click on restart.
enter your password now as you can see the Wi-Fi is working the airplay is working the DVD writer is working sound is also coming and here the spotlight and internet is already working actually I forget to fix the ethernet connection that is Realtek 8111 ethernet actually I was in a hurry so to make this video because I was not having too much time but don't worry the ethernet fix link has been provided in the description now only two fixes are remaining the first one is the hotkey on the keyboard is not working for brightness or sound and the second one is uh, the battery meter uh, to enable the battery meter you need to patch the DSGT and as I said earlier I am not having too much time for this laptop so now let's check out the system configuration select about this Mac now here is the Mac OS Sierra version 10.12.2 now here is the MacBook Air 13 inch mid 2013. The processor is 2 GHz Intel Core i3. The memory is 4 GB 1600 MHz DDR3. And the graphics is Intel HD graphics 55001536 MB. And the graphics is being detected natively. And it is working with full SL relation. Now under display there is a 15.5 inch 1366 into 768 resolution. So guys finally we have full working Mac OS Sierra installed on ASUS A55L laptop. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. For more updates stay connected. Have a great day.